About three years ago, I started exploring the path of engineering management. I spent two years as a team lead working with full stack and front end oriented teams. And since about a year, I have been working as a full time engineering manager. In today's episode, I'd like to tell you why this path may be interesting for you as a software engineer and what are the reasons that may compensate for the fact that you are no longer coding full time. Let's get started. Before we start, first things first, I would like to make sure that we are on the same page and you get the point behind this video. So the point behind this video is definitely not to discourage anyone who has just started or maybe wants to continue into the path of software engineers. I still see coding as a great job, as a great experience that will provide you with a lot of freedom, a lot of autonomy, it will definitely let you grow professionally and it will definitely let you pay your bills. I still enjoy coding and I'm trying to code as much as I can in my spare time. But among all the viewers and among all of the subscribers of this channel, there may be some people who already completed some projects, who gained some meaningful experience as a software engineers, and now they are looking for some different trajectories or opportunities for their growth. For those people who are maybe considering becoming an engineering manager, I'd like to share some insights on what worked well for me and what lets me compensate for the fact that, as I said in the beginning, I'm no longer coding full time and I've been, let's say, forced to let go of my old habits and start focusing on something else. So this video is to tell you how can I still enjoy this work without coding and opening the ID as the first thing in my regular workday. Definitely the first thing that comes to my mind when someone approaches me and asks me how can you handle the fact that you are no longer coding full time is actually about not coding full time and finally having some time to explore those previously distant territories of the IT industry. What do I mean by that? Well, you know, for me personally, it was always important to remember that coding is just a part of the entire product lifecycle. And in order to build great products, you need to have great people around you, skillful people around you. You need to build alignment with your stakeholders. You need to understand the market. You need to shape up proper requirements. And you also you need to take care about the timing. As an engineering manager, I can influence all of that in this way or another. But what's even more important I can learn about all of that. I simply have much more chances to understand how all of those pieces influence each other and how coding can be put in the right context so that from the coding activities you can get the most meaningful business outcomes. The second point that gets me going and lets me enjoy my time as an engineering manager is about collaborating with people. Yes, I see your reactions, I know that collaborating with people may be both exciting and challenging at the same time, but definitely without effective collaboration with people around you, you can't achieve pretty much anything as an engineering manager. So collaborating with people is another skill that I can develop thanks to this new position. Collaborating with people both in my team and outside of my team is a huge and very important part of my job and understanding people, building trust, getting involved in different relationships and you know sharing knowledge, transferring knowledge, teaching some people and learning from them is definitely something that make my days very exciting and interesting at the same time. And as I said before, I know that it may be one of the most difficult parts of this job of engineering manager, but without that you can't achieve pretty much anything. There's this saying that engineering managers achieve their results in an indirect way because the engineers basically influence the results of engineering managers. So you need to develop some new skills that basically result in effective collaboration with everyone around you. As I said, both exciting and challenging, but in the end, definitely something that gets me going. In order to get to the final point of this episode, let me very briefly list all the frameworks that I've been working with as a front-end engineer. Knockout.js, AngularJS, Angular with TypeScript, React, Web Components, Vue.js and Svelte. Eight different frameworks, 
over about 8 or 9 years and the outcome always the same, creating user interfaces for web applications. The final point, my bet, my very naive hope for this direction of engineering management is that the situation will be slightly different. The overall longevity of all the lessons learned and all the practices should be a bit bigger, a bit longer, let's say, and I hope that I'll be able to, you know, develop some skills on top of each other, not being forced to constantly relearn this job from scratch. And this is the final point. Let me know if you enjoyed this episode, give me a thumb up if you liked it, subscribe this channel and stay tuned because there is more in the pipeline. See you later.